1st. A man on the Outer Banks accused of crimes against children. 39-year-old Russell Shearer faces six separate sex crime charges, and police say Shearer's work gave him plenty of access to children. Penny Side's Joe Fisher has this developing news from Dare County. Police say Scherer's career as a gymnastics coach put him face to face with hundreds of minors in the Outer Banks. So far, they have identified three victims, but they say there could be more. Tonight, the news of Scherer's arrest is sending shockwaves across the community. Literally shocked. I could not, I couldn't believe it. I still can't believe it. This is 39 year old Russell Rusty Scherer, a well known and well respected man in the Outer Banks. The rumor was he was a very, very, very good coach. So this is this is a very big surprise to all of us. Police say they started looking into Sharer two weeks ago after one victim came forward and arrested him Thursday for alleged inappropriate relations with three juvenile victims. I feel that the community is safer right now with Mr. Schreer locked up. Sergeant John Taller with the Kill Devil Hills Police Department says Sharer owned three businesses and worked for several others as a gymnastics cheerleading and tumbling coach, supervising kids as young as eight years old. Where if your kid has been through his class, please talk to your kid. Jim Snyder has known Sharer for five years. He's manager at Outer Bank Sports Club, one of the businesses Sharer taught classes. Snyder says anger is setting in across the community. That's the heart of our community is our children. That's, we do things here to benefit our kids, and, and when something like that happens, it's the hurt is huge. Police are asking parents to talk with their kids if they've come in contact with Sharer to see if there's additional victims, and if so, to get them the help they need. And now we start peeling the layers of that onion and finding out what's at the center. And police say there's no indication in Sharer's background that he would have ever been a danger to kids. Meanwhile, Sharer was in court this morning for his initial appearance. He was given a bond of $80,000 but remains behind bars. He's due back in court October 9th. Reporting in Dare County tonight, I'm Joe Fisher. 10 on your side.